you two, do three different haikus. One is an Irish, it's a love haiku. The other one is a sight guide haiku, and the other one is an audience participation haiku. Haikus don't usually have that quality, <laughs> none of the less. Uh, I wrote this when I met Jan. Jan is a Sassana, uh, which is English. Uh, brought out the Gael and me, the Celt, uh, and I went into Irish. So this is called Grand Macri, which means it's a very archaic literary term for love of my life, or it's joy, it's the life of my heart. And uh, my uncle used to, uh, I asked him, when did that happen? And he used to say, Ulastra. And Ulastra is an archaic Irish word for the day before the day before yesterday. And why you would need a term for <laughs> the day before the day before yesterday. And I told this to people, they go, that's very peculiar. And then I told the Chinese friend, they go, what? We have an expression like that. Oh. So, Grandma Cree. Ullus draw the graw gamitagum. Atnish the graw gakin ot gak. Love of my life. The day before the day before yesterday, your love unknown to me. Now you love every place, every place. Thank you. Right. Thank you. I don't know why uh, I do all these different items to put the jazz on. Items aren't very performable, so. Uh, this is called Abracada Bra. Like a magician, you pull your bra from your sleeve. You can see. <laughs> Audience participation, Hiker. <laughs> Now you might know that a haiku's got 17 syllables, 5, 7, 5, and uh, I only want audience participation in the first two syllables, okay, so this is called handyman. So the first two syllables are party, so when I say party, I want to just have party back in me, okay? Party! Party! party. So how party do you go to? Come on! Party! Party! party. And your boo! pops out, and I pop it back. I'm handy like that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> These poems have got very distinct formations. Uh, when my little girl was a little girl, I wasn't a writer, so I missed catching her in a, the nest and mesh of words. But now that I do write, she filters through in memories. And um, We were a very naked household. Uh, Mom, Dad and little girl all went around in the nest and thought nothing of it. Uh, she'd invariably come to our bed at 5 o'clock in the morning and jump in. Two naked parents cuddled into one mass of fleshy landscape. And she would just clamber over us as if we were just mountains and hills. If she arrived on my wife's side, she just walked upon my wife's breast and we'd wake up in screams of agony. If she came on my side, and this is where this poem comes from, it's a memory of being uh, of head heavily treaded upon testicles. I don't know if you've ever woke up like that. It's very unpleasant to a witty little, pudgy little girl who doesn't have any considerations of what's what or where's where. It hurts a lot. So this is memory of pain. It's not about that. This is called, I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I awake, covered in glorious glitter, smelling strongly of PVA glue. Stick into my cheek, very hung over, and covered in blue orange, yellow red feathers. A bubble recently blown perched upon my nose. I still have comatose. Tiny bubbles travel amongst my curls. I threw a bigger bubble brightly, nestling neatly over my right eye. I observe my tiny daughter purse her lips and kiss more bubbles into being. To e. I force my lips, still frozen in sleep, to somehow speak. What you do? <laughs> Even my syntax and sentence structure, structuring is shot. She smiles sweetly. I'm pitying you. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I've read the following poem, um, people have not been aware of the format. I hope that some people are familiar with the shipping podcast. It's that iconic incantation of the sea comes into imaginary <laughs> maritime areas with the, uh, the sort of dadaistic, poetical, ritualistic uh, recitation of the various 
places and the various highs and lows and anywhere the wind blows. Um, I wrote it because I was lying in naked pajam and she was she was English part of our pair, Irish and English. And uh, she was reading a book on being English. And I thought I should be reading that. But there she was reading a book about being English. And she pointed out to me the consternation and dismay that happened when they changed a tiny part of the shipping forecast. And in February the 4th, 2002, Finisterre changed its name to Fitzroy. Oh. And there was great public outrage. Uh, they tried to get the change changed. And not only did it change Fitzroy to uh, our Finisterre to Fitzroy, they also moved it by 15 minutes. So I was highly amused by the English holding on to a national emotional institution of language that is soothingly obscure and mesmerizingly safe and part of our national psychic and British institution. So I this took a long time to write, two days for me, bitterly and brokenly, because I had to get familiar with the weather forecast again. So I mimicked and run parallel to the weather forecast, the shipping forecast. So it is and it isn't about the shipping forecast. It's called And Now the Relationship Crisis Forecast, issued by the same side of yourself on behalf of the Maritime and Keep Your Guard Up Agency. <laughs> the general synopsis at midlife is late 40s, dogged by blighted love life, do all time low, expected by that time. Sex, occasionally very poor at first, becoming moderate or good. <laughs> Fuck all, hand over fist, wanker. Marriage, three or four, becoming a four. Blonde mantra, 34, 24, 34. Sexy Mrs. Fitzroy, formerly Finisterre, a fair deepening rapid, rapidly expected imminent, becoming Byronic, getting carried away, hoisted by one's own guitar. Chances this will work out all right, moderate, becoming decreasing slight. Fair Isle, sweater left carelessly behind in the car, uh, big mistake. Violent storm warning, boyfriend built like Viking, ghost, not over white. Becoming cyclonic, moronic, severe icing, old shite, despair, panic, flight. What more can go wrong? Chelsea 2, West Ham 1. <laughs> Town gossip, Lindy Fastness informs wife. Accused of infidelities, backing off into continual lying. Veering towards disbelief, closed from Elton Street. Lost, changed. Cut fast in net like trashing fish. Future visibility, moderate becoming poor in showers. Drunk again, singing in the rain, what's it all about, Alfred? Thank you.